Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 3 on my Arc Ascended PvP series. This time, we're taking the series from a duo to a four man, as Elite Arc gets harder than ever as the server remains capped and we get wiped off the server. But lucky for you guys, I actually ended up hiding all of my loot just below these foundations, very clearly next to my base. Now, as you can tell, I kind of marked the foundations with stone ones and they didn't notice it, but it didn't matter anyway. In this video, we make loads of progress in getting our first bunch of heavies up, getting our own lines for the first time, and we do a juicy, unexpected raid that gives us so much loot. I hope you guys do enjoy this video, but first, let's get into today's sponsor. With Ark Scorched Earth now being out, there's no reason for you guys to miss any of the clips you hit on the new map, which is why today, I'm going to introduce you guys to Outplay, today's sponsor. All you need with Outplayed is to have the software downloaded and running in the background. And boom, that fresh new clip you hit will be saved and ready to share all around. You can set Outplayed to clip any of your kills, deaths, wins, and so much more. There's literally so many options, you can just pick whatever and it will always show up on your timeline. You can also share your clips on Discord, YouTube, or Twitter, or basically anywhere where you have an account is possible to share it on. My favorite thing though is the extensive list of games they support, so whatever you play, it's probably there. If you're interested, check out the link below and thank you Outplayed for today's sponsor. And let's continue on with the video. Oops. All right, let me kill myself. I'll go grab my stuff and uh, you get to the taming, I guess. Or what? Yeah. Oh. I was looking under all the foundations and I was like, where are my chests? I can't find them. No, they were they were hidden in different ones. I was just missing them. Uh, bro, I was actually panicking then. Should have where is everything? Ah, here it is. I might actually be too heavy. Oh god. Yep, I'm a chunky boy. I might be able to clear out my inventory there a little bit later. With my loot still secured and me not losing anything even though I was raided, I decided to grab myself another Thylacolia as it was a level 140 and they're one of the best ways to traverse the map. Black yeah. like VP, boots, uh, and then riot shield. And... Oh, flag VP is nice. After I'd knocked out the Thylacolia though, just below the cliff, Vic got jumped by another tribe and ended up losing all of his stuff and dying to a rock golem. So I would hide and keep an eye on my Thyla. Chasing you again. Oh, they're on me again. Yeah, I Jesus see them. Right. I might just cryopod my Thyla and hide until they're gone. Cryopod? Yeah, I have to. Oh, nice. I see them down the hill. Yeah, yeah I'm just... definitely just going to cryo and hide. These guys are going to keep coming around, I think. Notorious Tyler, I see you in the distance, bro. Slowly and patiently, I sat there awaiting for my Thylacolia to tame, as if they caught me, they would get all of the loot I had on me, and to top it off, they would certainly kill the Thyla. Thyla's done. Right on. I no longer have a saddle for you. Oh, no, I'm way too fat for it. Never mind. You have to cry up on him. If they don't see me. What's that? Oh, hopefully they don't see you. Yeah. I just cry potted. I'm going. Yeah. Hey, is RG still here? I'm going to start killing it. It's actually quite a low HP. How, how far are you from me, Vic? Like 2.5. 2.5? Jesus. You know, die and respawn somewhere closer. I can, yeah. yeah, do that. Ramping near here, like red, red orb, I guess. Oh, she's dead. Hey. I have oh yeah it's C4 on him. 
He was wearing flat gear as well. I'm about to die. Of course, sure. Uh, Very well. Yeah, he actually had some stuff. I might be able to make you to a bed real quick so you can spawn in here. You guys uh, give me a minute. Four. My whole game's patching. That's all good. 4k pearls I just got off this guy. Okay. This is good. How far away are you now? I think. Uh, I already marked the rally point on you. Okay. Oh, these guys. Wait, these guys actually have quite a decent amount of stuff. Loads of metal, like 3k metal, loads of pearls, loads of gunpowder. We have poly. We might actually be able to get Taras from this. Just this raid alone. Yeah. That's All I needed was silica pearls and poly for turrets. Yeah, we've definitely got that now, so. That's huge. Now we just need to make it to a base spot. I guess we could just change your spot we have now into the base. Just put heavies on it or something for now. Yeah. Just need some levels so I can actually move on this thing. We I, I actually got too much stuff out of their base. Yeah, they don't have any heavies to craft or let me see. Let me see. Bro, why didn't I not level up from that what? Oh, this will take so long to craft all these electronics. Are you sure we just didn't move to base first? Yeah, let's just move to base. Um, then, we, yeah, we'll do it at base. Can we move the stuff back in the Tyler? Hitting the jackpot with that stone raid, we decided to make the trip thousands of meters across the map to where Vit had stored his little base. Now, it wasn't much, but we had a fabricator, we had a smithy, so we could get to work on aiming towards making auto turrets and also upgrading the base to metal, which I wouldn't recommend for anyone playing PvE on this map as, uh, yeah, metal basically cooks you alive. But anyways, I got to work on gunpowder, I made some of the mods on Elite Arc such as the Archimatic Composite Crafter, which auto crafts you electronics, gunpowder, and just any resource you could ever need. Now, it is expensive, bear in mind, but it's very worth it. We definitely should have lived in a cave. We will go for a living cave soon. I made the composite crafter now, so we're going to make electronics so much faster. I really need poly soon, and then we can move like, ASAP. Wait. Now, with electronics being crafted at such a fast rate, I could look towards crafting our first auto turret, and I could look at crafting our first heavy turret not long after. Now, I had a choice. I could either whack them on top of the stone base or we could wait to move, which was actually the plan I chose to do as I didn't think anyone would touch us in this stone box. Uh, 110 Slime Mantry is out. Can one of you, well, tame track it. How far, wait, how far away are you from the base? Bit? I'm over here. Alright, let me place down these heavies uh, and then you can lean. fucking annoying. Let me just place down the heavies and then you can lean them here. Okay. Lead them to the base? Yeah, it's up to you. If you feel like you're gonna die, it's not worth losing our Thyla. Yeah. He's it's fucking Thyla that have now. Oh, I'll, I'll give him a taste of medicine, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll beat the hell out of him. <laughs> Bring him to me, I'll whip him to death. Alright, well, base is powered, it's on. Yeah, so we'll move. Oh, we will have, we're gonna move regardless, but. Oh my fuck. I'm at half. Keep, keep running, bro. Keep running. I'm gonna have to turn the base to metal. I can't, can't wait any longer. We'll just have to cook even more in the base. With one of the Alpha Tribes chasing Vit, I would be forced to upgrade our base to metal, as I didn't exactly want anyone to just walk by and one rocket the base and then we lose everything. Also, as you can probably tell, at this point I managed to fix the resolution of my game, which has been bugged throughout the entire video. So, if you was missing the chat or they added like the sidebars, well, now it's fixed. 
But anyway, we made the improvements to our base and upgraded it to metal, despite the downsides of a uh, cooking alive on the inside. But having the heavies up on top was a nice feature now. Yeah. Oh my god, the sandstorm effect looks sick though. <laughs> I need to get back to base. I've never actually seen it before, like flying on person. Alright, well, I think. I need to get back into base. Yeah, don't worry, you're nearly there. Damn, that's so sick. In some downtime, I decided to test out placing air conditioners to see if it would help with the, well, the raging heat inside our little metal box. Turns out it didn't, and I placed around seven. It probably takes so many more. But anyways, we also tamed another Thyla. We tamed some Ankies up. I think we actually tamed two Ankies up, which was done by Rocco. And then after taming the Ankies, I returned them all back to base with cryopods and also went out and did a mini metal farm. Granted, it wasn't a big metal run. Vit actually ended up doing a decent sized one, but it was something. And I managed to get our base looking a little something like this. It wasn't anything too crazy, but if someone was to just walk up, they would get absolutely annihilated. They took all my meat, Fire bro. Outside base. Yeah, I see them. They're definitely scouting us. They're going for that drop, I think. Yeah. We're going to have to move on top of that cliff ASAP. We need the metal to smell bad. I might just actually craft it now. For the little base anyway. Having you would be a big thing. Oh, Jack. I'm nearly back at base. No! No! Damn, that's a cool looking wyvern though. Trying to flame me. Really chasing down at yeah, I see. Is it low or is that his pattern? I think that's his pattern. He actually is such a loser. Jacky, you could take him off his wyvern. That's Kill what him. I'm trying to do. Careful. Don't play around the middle. Don't don't let him flame you. I'm trying to get my body back. Oh yeah, he managed to jump my character. Everyone's small and I'm just massive. Oh, that actually flamed me. Another oh. fire wyvern on your left. Dude, yeah. they're just pull back to the turrets. Yeah, I will. How I'm stuck? What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna shoot so him, much know. damage. That is a cool looking wyvern. Yeah, the wyvern sees you. He needs to drop stamp. <laughs> So now, we had made our very first enemies on the server, and we didn't exactly leave a good impression as they came along and killed our tames. So, I'd be sure to beef up some of our defences, but we kept noticing them nearby, so we would have to keep an eye out. Uh, we'll leave them for now. If they come back, we'll kill it, but if we kill it now, it'll just start a war that we don't really need. Our base is not defended enough. They're flying into the desert. Finally! Oh my god, boys, I got a forge finally done. That 2.5k metal took way too long. You're welcome. You're welcome, nice. Least useful tribe, mate. My mom. <laughs> Should I break? No, there's 20. Just bring yourself like six, maybe seven. Better to be safe than sorry. Um, I'm just watching this guy. He's just in his inventory naked. Wait, this is the guy that lives in the right hole, yeah? Yep. So you got parachutes or now? Yeah, I've got three. Okay. There's a blue drop with a ring around it. Only go for it if you think you can. I think uh, the Argentavis is closer. Someone on the RG is closer. As we were scouting around the map, we were sure to check out all of the new base spots that could be possible raids, and one rat hole that we came across literally had just been built in. So I rushed over to raid it as quickly as possible, and here is the outcome of that situation. Grab the RG because I'm stuck in the sky. If I can slowly fall down, yeah. Where is it? I'm gonna hear the wolf. Watch he's, yourself. He's just spamming foundations. 
There's a purple drop if someone wants to get it. He's dead. Drop me, drop me, drop me. Oh, I'm still back in the same you spot. Guys, you fuck. guys should be able to just come in. Yeah, I'm trying, my bad. Oh, this is dumb, I'm stuck here. Alright, oh, I, I made it back. Nice, bro. Just stay at base for now. I don't get it, I'm stuck here now. GG's. Mark. And you hey, bring, bring me the bird. Bring me the bird. No, I have a grapple on me. And I'm gonna hop on the bird. Sounds good. Alright, entire base is down. Bolt's claimed. Right. right there. Thank you, sir. You're It's fine, bro. bro you I'll, I'll just keep going and getting stuff for you. No, bro, enjoy your own living. I'm first gonna get one. like four or five, bro. Nah, bro, you need to experience the, the trauma of losing your first baby. Well, we are tameless over here now. So I already decided to fly into the rat hole and come out. Oh, GG. My tribe is lost. I want you come out baby. to me because I'm literally here. Oh, we're here too. I'm on the floor down here. I don't see you. Yeah, I'm flying. I'm literally like 100 meters away from you. Just above. Work, work, work. So There's we're literally... I don't know how this <laughs> guy's got a stone base or a weapon in it. I'm gonna place 2c4. Maybe I can kill yeah, it with just that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think my game crashed. Your game crashed. You're good, bro. <laughs> no way. Oh, my you game just to come there. Oh. Yeah. Um, you need us? No, you don't need... I don't need you. I'm just killing this weapon. Yeah, I crashed. Yeah, now, to be honest with you, I was kind of surprised by this base. It having a wyvern inside, I thought they'd at least have some sort of loot. Because these things, even though the server is a 10x, there's still a bit of effort to tame and raise. Well, I say tame, you literally have to raise them from scratch. But anyway, whilst we was raiding this base, I ended up getting jumped by a bunch of guys. And uh, yeah, they ended up stealing quite a bit of the loot. And with everything out of the way, I decided I would take a break for a little bit as I had packed up most of the base and given it to my tribe mates to go and claim a base spot that we wanted to build in for a while. And uh, yeah, it turns out by the time I came back, we had some very sad news and a lot of time wasted on the server, which was not beneficial at this point as a lot of people want to raid us. Damn, so I think this is the uh, perfect place to end this off. We had a few issues. Now, if I open up tribe log, you guys can see that um, in the effort to move base, I left the uh, the job to some tribe mates. They ended up getting jumped. I think it was two or three times. And by you can, uh, well, it's actually 4 a.m. So I'm quite quite tired. My speech is very slurred. But as you can probably tell, I gave them about 16 heavies off the base. Yeah, and now they're all gone. So we're down. God knows how much metal, how much farming today. We've still got most of the base in here. As well as that, it's still all basically packed up. Like we've got everything here. We've got wyvern eggs there. All the composites are still crafting. I'm putting ammo and I'm still crafting it in the turrets, but we've literally just lost about an hour or two's worth of farming non-stop the metal. Any metal we could get, like fighting other people for it. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to survive the night, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay up for to see if we can get the base more protected. But to be honest, guys, I'm not hopeful. I hope this series doesn't have to end, but um, if it did, Alejandro, as my brother literally could not spell correctly because he is very dyslexic, you did us proud. Old base, you did us proud. And uh, yeah, 
guess it's time to say goodnight, boys. I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you, everyone, for watching, as always. And, uh, blame Vit. All his fault.